And now, the gun violence in California. Today, another person who was in the hospital after the mass shooting in Monterey Park Saturday night has died, meaning 11 people have lost their lives in another senseless massacre. It happened during Lunar New Year celebrations at a dance hall, a place that people there describe as an institution in that community. There are still a lot of unknown details about why what happened happened Saturday night, but while people try to begin again, many are past ready to find solutions, not just for Monterey, but for Asian American communities all over our country that have been on edge with a rise in violence against them in the last few years. Sharon spent some time with the Minnesota Asian Pacific Caucus at the Capitol today and also connected with leaders in the community. Sharon, what do they have to say? Well, Jana, they say this needs to be a much bigger conversation that extends outside of Monterey Park, that extends outside of the AAPI community. Lawmakers are specifically looking at this as an issue involving gun violence and mass shootings. Ushering in the year of the rabbit was supposed to bring peace, but when a gunman opened fire in Monterey Park, it was the re-traumatization of an already traumatized community. We've experienced the shootings in Atlanta. We've experienced hate crimes and bias here locally. Um, and so when, when we hear about something like this, I think that our whole community just kind of goes into um, a heightened state. Members of the Minnesota Asian Pacific Caucus took the day to set their legislative priorities for the year, highlighting bills like the anti-hate crime bill. In California, police have identified the shooter as a 72-year-old Asian man, but Representative Cowley Vang Hur says that should not tint the lens through which we look at the tragedy. Hate crimes and, and crimes based in bias is its own issue along with gun violence prevention, uh, gun violence and along with all of the other ills within our society and how all those things intersect. So when people are looking to break down these issues as, well, at least it's not this thing. Yes, but there are other 10 other things within these systems that intersect with each other. Tao Mei Zhang, executive director of the Coalition of Asian American Leaders, agrees. Regardless of the racial or ethnic community, I think a mass shooting anywhere is really devastating. And this happened in a predominantly Asian American community. And so um, it has serious ramifications for Asian Americans, and then it has serious implications for community safety. Zhang says while she took comfort in the celebratory gatherings that happened at the Mall of America just yesterday, she recognizes the privilege in the choice to live without fear. Individuals who do not have the freedom that I have as an able-bodied person and as someone um, who hasn't experienced that kind of violent trauma, I can move much easier in the community after hearing something like this. But a lot of our um, community members are very traumatized. We have refugees who've come from war and torn countries. So seeing and hearing violence, especially gun violence, is very triggering. Zhang emphasized the issue of violence against Asian Americans has always existed. Just increased and we're giving it more attention. That it's really important for both our community leaders uh, to be engaged in the conversation and for our elected officials um, like the MAP caucus uh, to also be uh, responding, taking lead and listening. Tomei says they're currently waiting on a little bit more information from police in California before they do anything concrete. But in the meantime, she emphasized the importance of checking in on each other and also holding space for our young ones to ask questions about the shooting and to be candid with them with our answers. Absolutely. And when we see things like this, it could be that last thing that prevents a person from going to a large gathering. So it does have ripple effects everywhere, right, Sharon? Yeah, and she talked about, again, her freedom and her privilege to decide to go and enjoy the celebration. It's a She mentioned that it mm -hmm. was a deliberate decision for them to do that, but she recognized that that's not an option for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Sharon. We appreciate it.